Yo, Sour Candy has been that song, that rose part. Ask me to do it nice and then I'll do it extra me. Yo, that. <laughs> I'm hot on the outside, but if you can see inside, inside. <laughs> What's up, everybody? It's your boy, Too Grown, because I'm too grown for these reactions. And today, we have some more Black Pink. Man, I'm telling you, that Lady Gaga Black Pink song has been on repeat all, all week. Uh, but you guys have been requesting this, this Rose documentary, and then we're gonna do, I think, Jiso later on the day. Uh, and then I'm gonna dive into some B-side songs of uh, uh, Black Pink. So I'm looking forward to that. And uh, yeah, let's just dive into this. This has been really, really highly requested from you guys. So I'm looking forward to learning more about Rose, the bias. So let's dive right into this. The original video will be in the link in the description below by this channel. Rose. I cannot go fly all the way back to Australia without making this work. How old is she here? What kept you going? And this is a question for all of you because training is not easy, I'm assuming. It's years and years. It's not. And... I felt like it was a fight against myself because it was really, really difficult to be honest. You know? Hey, I'm going to be real with you guys as an American. And I don't know, this is just my American perspective. This isn't all Americans or whatever people who are outside of K-pop. But when I first got into K-pop, I just figured all these beautiful women, talented women in K-pop were just like handed handed these positions, handed in, into these groups, as in like they were pretty, they could sing, so they didn't have to work hard, they just kind of like were handed everything, but no, 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 no. K-pop, you work extremely hard, extremely hard. I felt like it was a fight against myself, because it was really, really difficult to be honest, you know. I have to, I have to make this work before I, like, you know, I'm never gonna leave Korea without making this work. I'm getting goosebumps already, I don't like it. 700 people? Of what? Um, I think my dad was like, okay, I think she wants to do music. And he asked me, do you want to take an audition? And I was like, I don't even know if I was qualified. So I was like, is that even a question? Like, can I? Am I allowed to? Some people just go home after a month. Some people go home after three years. The culture wasn't like fully like in my blood yet, so it was very difficult. My parents had a whole fight about it, like mom was worried, but at, in the end they decided to be really, really supportive of it and I flew all the way from Melbourne to Sydney to take the audition and I got it. So she had her audition in Australia? That's crazy to me, like even that, and that's like the first hurdle out of many hurdles that you're about to go over. One of the biggest is you don't know the language. The oh, wait, wait a minute! I nodded like that was like I, I know a lot of people in K-pop go from not really knowing Korean to uh, to learning Korean. But you're telling me Rose had no idea she was gonna dive into K-pop. Had no idea about Korean. Like no, like me diving into K-pop not knowing Korean is different than me performing K-pop and not knowing Korean. You know what I mean? Like what? Is one of the biggest is you don't know the language. They put us into these groups of girls and just survive, like do like a survival thing every month. It's so, it's such a nice, a nice thing to have a dream. It is such a privilege for us to dream. So whatever you're dreaming of, enjoy dreaming about it really. If you enjoy it, then you'll invest more in it, and it's just like... It's one of those things that's gonna make me cry, I don't wanna do that. Everything helps each other when, when you're passionate about something. It's very, very special. 여러분, 화이팅! 잘할 수 있을 거예요. Years old, okay. 
I'm, I'm still shocked she, she didn't know Korean. Okay. 여러분, 오늘 데뷔 쇼케이스의 주인공 YG 신인 그룹 블랙핑크를 소개합니다. Yeah. 네, 안녕하세요. 블랙핑크의 로제입니다. I'd never left, I had never slept um, outside of my house for like more than two weeks, you know, <laughs> at that age. Yeah. But I had to just leave and. Um, <laughs> oh, those are training. Oh, shit. Okay, hold on. That's a good person. Hold on. Oh, man. Come on. I didn't know it was going to be one of these things that's going to be cry type stuff. Come on now. <laughs> What a good person. She knows the grind. Oh my god. Why'd y'all gotta do me dirty and, and suggest to watch this? Imagine someone who was born in New Zealand and raised in Melbourne had the chance to audition at the age of 15 with so much hope and so much to offer just to end up like this. After reading about the Stay Strong Rosie hashtag, now I'm kinda sure they are treating her unfairly. Why would they mistreat her? Rest of the members are doing things that make each of them shine individually except Rosie. You count how many things each member has done, um, and they all have a what? Life except for Rosé. I never knew this. I think Rosé does deserve more. I think that her solo should be coming soon. Like, I mean, I think she deserves it. Hey, someone sent me an article that there is a Rosé single coming, like, during this whole comeback coming up. Is this true? Is this true? I'm def I'm definitely into that. Because you can tell there's something there, even if her if her dad liked that post um, as well, like saying like that, you know, she deserves more. Guys hang indefinitely, please. Please just trust me. Trust me on this. Okay. I know that a lot of you guys are very, very curious about um you know, how much have I prepared with my solo work and all. You know, that's like something you guys are really, really always interested in and it's just waiting and dying to hear about, which is really like, that's really like, I'm so happy that you guys are like that. But, um, I'm definitely interested. Um, with the question about like when, when it is, um, that, um, so don't worry too much, guys. I'm doing really, really well. I love you guys. Please don't worry about me. Y'all are dirty for this, yo, for real. I'm not crying on YouTube. I already told you guys that. I didn't know she had that hard of a start. What is this?
lot of hard work is paying off. has a completely different wow. Her wow is like, look how she can reach into your soul and, and shake things and move things around. Her vocals but have the, always gotten That's the kind of wow Rosé brings. Every time she sings somebody's song, she's like, yo, this is my song now. She's so talented. It's unbelievable. I, I think Rose's voice is super underrated. I think that How is it even underrated? I don't understand that. Ever heard, uh, because she knows how to strip down a vocal and you know make it very interesting and beautiful at the same time how is it underrated i think she's one of the top vocals in k-pop or not just in k-pop in general <laughs> what if there is a voice that can make tears come out of your eyes they're talented I don't cry on YouTube, so that's not happening. Her voice is unbelievable. It really is, though. Rose has an angelic voice. Rose has one of those like beautiful voices that it's so distinct. Like whenever you hear that voice, you're like, oh my god, that's Rose. What song is this? that you just want to constantly listen to. I like that dress. Such a sweet voice, but I didn't know that she had some power. As a singer, your goal is to make the listener feel something, to make them feel what you want them to feel, and she nailed it. Goosebumps from that, okay? I just kept growing and becoming more and more praised. Good. 
I think, yeah, I came in way, way too late to Blackpink where I think she was already now, she's respected her, right? Because when I got into Blackpink, there's, I, I, don't, I don't see how you could even disrespect Rosé like that because she's amazing. And I, I never, I don't understand that. I don't understand she got so much hate at the beginning. I don't get it. And she's not underrated. She, she's amazing. You're about to kill a song too. I know this song. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm a Beyonce first, I ain't gonna lie. God, it really is. She kills the song covers. A lot of you guys want me to get into IU. I personally just really love Rose's voice. She has like this Eric Nam. crazy tone that kind of gives me shivers and then she does this bending when she sings that goes up she's kind of made it her own thing she just has the sweetest vocal tone to me Look at those it's eyes. the kind of tone that makes me fall in love Her voice, you just, you just wish you could bottle it up and keep it forever. She's so cute. so I can just like absolutely die. <laughs> oh, I this song. We've got, we've lived together for already like, yeah. almost 10 years. This song is so beautiful. So Rosie joined us last. And then Rosie came in and just this girl just came right over from Shelly with her guitar. Mm -hmm. <laughs> she started playing her guitar for like the whole night. Oh. And we're like, okay, we're definitely, yeah, we're gonna get along well. <laughs> <laughs> Up, like jabbing until like 5 a.m. Yeah. I don't think we cared about what our neighbors <laughs> thought. It was, it was an apartment that we sang till sunrise. I'm the same with my reactions. I don't care what my neighbors think. <laughs> Instant sisters. Instant sisters. The Australians. New Zealand. Human beings that you're comfortable enough around to like open your mouth so they can feed you M&M. <laughs> <laughs> like it's not, it's not every day. Mm. Oh, Lisa, here go kicking the door was, was, was an introvert? Mm. Oh my god. <laughs> yes, wow. Oh, come on. Hmm? You're really pretty. No! <laughs> Yeah. 
I think we're closer than like our like I love this song so much. These girls became my like family, and they really, really stuck by me through all this time. Here, give us love, baby. Is that a concert? Each and every one of us, because we went through a lot. I'm very, very. <laughs> I never know if this is the end or the if I... Okay. Out. This isn't even a black pink event or a concert, bro. What? Y'all, oh my god, bro. Oh man. Show you off like a trophy car. Bro, what song is this? What? I just want to show you Taylor for two. Date with a dude. He ain't Taylor for you. It'd be over with. Yo, what song is this? Oh man, I don't know what song this is. She killing it. I could listen to Rose covers all day. All day. Honestly, I'm happy we finished out the Blackpink MVs because I get to learn so much more about these beautiful, beautiful, talented women. Um, I had no idea that Rose got the, uh, so much heat in the beginning of her career because, again, I came into Blackpink uh, just a couple months ago and um, they're all talented, beautiful. I can't see anyone hating anyone in that group. That group is amazing. Blackpink is amazing. Uh, yeah, I mean, I, 
I chose Rose not just off the of looks because if we were going off the of looks, it could be any one of those four four women, bro. Because Blackpink's visuals are stupid. But I chose Rose because I loved her voice. Her voice was super unique. I have no idea how she's titled underrated in vocals. I think she's one of the top top vocals I've ever heard in my life, not just in K-pop in my life. And um, then once I got to her personality side, I went, oh my god, like she's everything. She's beautiful, talented, good person, funny, goofy. She's everything, and um, yeah, I can't wait to dive into more information about these uh, beautiful, beautiful women. Um, yeah, I mean, like I said, you guys already know, I'm a huge Blink now, I'm a huge Black Pink fan. Um, we got Jisoo next. We're gonna do the same documentary thing you guys have been sending me for Jisoo, we'll do that one from Jisoo. And then next week, uh, we'll either do the documentaries for, uh, is, is there documentaries for um, Jenny and Lisa? Otherwise, we're going to B-Side, so I do wanna listen to more Black Pink music. And um, I know they also have a show uh, called Black Pink House or something. I'm not sure if it can be put on YouTube. If it can't be put on YouTube, it'll be something that will be going on my Patreon soon. You guys let me know. But yeah, guys, uh, I'm gonna sit here and watch uh, some more Black Pink because I love learning about Black Pink. So you guys should see Jisoo coming up right after this. Uh, I love you guys. I'll see you on the next one.